This creature looks like it was designed by a committee of monsters. Picture this late Cretaceous period, a dense, humid forest. Something stalks through the undergrowth. It has the body of a T-Rex, but its arms are huge, longer than a human, tipped with three giant, vicious claws. Its head is small, almost comical, with a duck bill snout and on its back. A sail of spines, like a Spinosaurus. This is Dinosaurus, the dinosaur that breaks all the rules. For decades, all paleontologists had were its massive arms. They imagined a terrifying predator, a monster that could rip anything apart. They called it Terrible Hand. The size of its arms suggested a beast, larger and more ferocious than even a two. The mystery haunted them for nearly 50 years. What kind of creature did these arms belong to? The reality was far stranger. When they finally found a complete skeleton in the Gobi Desert, the truth was revealed. This thing wasn't a super predator, that duckbill. It was for scooping up plants and small fish. It was an omnivore, those giant claws probably used to dig up roots or defend itself. And that sail on its back. Scientists are still debating it. Was it for display? To regulate temperature? We don't know. It had hollow bones like a bird, making it lighter than it looked, but it was still enormous, weighing over six tons. Imagine this giant, Frankenstein's monster of a dinosaur, wading through a swamp. It's not hunting you. It's just dot dot dot, living. A gentle giant built from the parts of nightmares. It moves slowly, deliberately, using those terrifying claws to pull down a branch. It's a walking paradox, a creature of contradictions. And what's truly strange, it was covered in feathers. A giant feathered duck-billed beast with Freddy Krueger hands. This wasn't just a dinosaur. It was nature's weirdest experiment. And there are even stranger things buried, just waiting to be discovered.